Good people, this is your boy Tim House Senior, aka the Alpha back in the building. And as you can see from the title, uh, it's true. I'm gonna have to kind of sit down uh, my fitness journey as well as my YouTube journey, kind of let it go for a little while. Uh, there's some other things in life that are kind of pressing that require my attention immediately, so. I did at least want to do this video because while I may not have a whole lot of subscribers, I do have a few subscribers. Uh, I do have some people who have encouraged me and motivated me along the way. And I just wanted to say uh, thank you all for the encouragement. Thank you all for your support. I want to kind of let you all know what was going on so it wouldn't just be all of, all of a sudden I just stopped making videos and the channel just goes, you know, unattended to. So, YouTube and fitness you know both require a lot of time and patience and attention uh, on one hand you have the fitness and I'm not just saying fitness as in general as a whole but I'm saying um, just the fitness of going the part of going to the gym uh, I used to try to go to the gym maybe three to four times a week I used to end up spending about maybe three hours or so in there so you know that's time that right now I could really be investing in other parts of my life I'm not saying I'm completely giving up fitness as a whole but you know I still plan on doing some things around the house you know some uh, body weight exercises push-ups sit-ups you know dips different things like that try to stay in shape you know I'm, you know even if it means me having to get my cardio in wherever I can if I'm taking the stairs at work instead of using the elevator we work on the fourth floor so you know any little thing like that it means me when I'm driving I have to park further away from my job so that I can walk back and forth to the vehicle you know just wherever I can get it in I'm still gonna try to get it in that way I'm still gonna try continue to try to eat healthy and eat clean and you know, just the whole nine you know, I'm just kind of taking the gym out of the equation. Uh, also, not only does the gym take up some time, but, you know, if you're real serious about it, you know, you don't have to, but you're going to take start taking supplements and, you know, protein, BCAAs, you know, your fish oils and muscle vitamins and, you know, maybe some uh, CLAs and glutamine, or, you know, different things like that. So, you know, it can get expensive it also it can be depending on what you're getting so I'm gonna have to cut that out a little bit also with YouTube it can be time consuming uh, if you've ever made a video or ever done anything in YouTube you know that you have to get equipment you don't have to go out and buy an expensive camera or anything like that by any means um, I chose to go get a, a mirrorless camera that was just my choice uh, but as you can see right now, I'm doing this on my cell phone. So you don't have to have an expensive camera. You don't uh, have to have expensive software and everything like that. I'm actually going to be, because I'm using my cell phone, I'm going to edit this on the software uh, application I download on my phone. But, you know, I also have a software I use on my computer. And different things like that. So YouTube can be time consuming. It can be expensive if you want it to be. And so calls for investments, and especially in time rendering things out uploading things you have to if you're doing it the right way you want to make sure you're putting all your tags on the on the video so they can reach the right audience uh, make sure you're using the right making thumbnails that are attractive and get people's attention or uh, make sure you're titling things that are, so it be easily found so all that thing I mean they can take time uh, once again can take finances and you know so once again, I'm trying to divert that time, those finances and things like that to other parts of my life. 
uh, that are more pressing right now. Um, spend more time with my family. I want to be more intentional about um, my studying and getting before God and things like that. Not saying I couldn't do those things while I was in the gym or editing and doing it, because I was doing those things before, but I just want to make a, a greater investment right now this season. So I just put out the video a little while ago, uh, you know, goal setting versus New Year's resolutions. Uh, one of my Motivational Monday videos, probably had it up here someplace on a card. But I talked about some different goals I wanted to accomplish. And some of my goals I wanted to accomplish was to actually spend more time with my family and to get uh, invest more time in my relationship with God. I also said, I stated I want to be more intentional about YouTube and be more consistent about putting videos up and more consistent about my fitness and my health. I wanted to actually do a show this year, a uh, physique show, a classic physique show, but those things kind of got to have to be put on hold. Once again, I'm not saying it's because of my family and my relationship with God. Those are two things that are going to benefit because of me doing this, but um, I just feel like right now, just, that's just something I need to do. Is this, what the heck that was, is this the end for Silverback Strong Club? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but for right now, I'm going to have to say, uh, say goodbye. Before I do say goodbye, no, I wasn't crying, but uh, the wind blowing hard. So, But bef before I say goodbye, I do want to thank some people that I had uh, the pleasure of uh, meeting and becoming acquainted with. Uh, kind of shared you know, comments and things back and forth uh, on YouTube and social media. Um, first and foremost, uh, Nick Zelfing. It's a really, really great guy, guys. If you have an opportunity to check out his channel, Nick Zelfing, real genuine, real humble. I reached out to him a couple of times, and he was Johnny on the spot. He responded to me, uh, and he helped me out a lot. So, shout out to Nick Zelfing. Also, um, YH Legacy, really, really good guy. He's actually in his final weeks of uh, prepping for his uh, physique show, but you know, we exchange uh, information via comments in each other's videos. And just want to say a special shout out to him and wish him the best of luck. Let him know I'll be praying for you, man, uh, when you go into your competition. Also, uh, Max Out Games. Um, I'm in G. This kid right here, I'm in G. Uh, check his videos out. Check his, his channel out. I'm gonna. Uh, he was, and I'm mentioning him because he was the first person to ever left a comment on any one of my videos, and he encouraged me, and reached out to me, and so I'm very grateful to him for that. He has, his channel has skyrocketed the quality of his videos and the quality of work that he does is absolutely amazing check him out also uh as i want to say it right aesthetic and athletic fitness or is it athletic and aesthetic fitness it's one or the other uh, i'm gonna put all their channels in the comment box below but athletic and aesthetic fitness check him out also really cool guy uh good 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 people um also i'm not crying uh the wind is just blowing i'm not crying uh vanessa g um goody beats just some just some really good people and i'm putting some more people's name down here um uh, in the comment box below guys if you get an opportunity you want to see some good fitness videos good encouragement good vlogging check these stations out and you know, once again, I want to say a special thanks to them for the support, for any comments, uh, encouragement. I do want to say, though, that uh, even this little time that I've, I've spent in fitness as well as uh, with YouTube, I've learned some invaluable lessons. I've made some great 
connections, um, fitness. I know how to, you know, kind of get out and speak the jargon. I can get out and work out and do alternative workouts and still continue to make progress. I know that, uh, you know, I may even still at some point pursue my personal training uh, license or certificate to get back into fitness one day down the road. Uh, when it comes to YouTube, I have the opportunity to learn how to do some things that people go to school, go to college and pay thousands upon thousands of dollars to learn and still don't have the experience of doing it themselves. I had the opportunity to do it. If anybody's ever done YouTube, you know that, especially when you're starting off, majority of the time you're a one-man show meaning that you know you're handling the camera you're editing your own videos you're basically doing production uh, or studio engineering or however you want to say it uh, you're actually going and you're having to market your product your videos so once again you're going into marketing uh, you know you have to go on social media so again you're doing uh, some network marketing i mean just just those things right there that i've learned over time since i've been doing this are invaluable lessons that like i say i could have went to school and paid thousands of dollars for uh, but just to be able to go out and put my hands on it and do it myself uh is amazing so i'm very very grateful for the journey that i was able to embark on uh and looking forward yeah. to what's next so once again this is your boy Tim Hall Sr. signing off for possibly the last time ever. Your boy Tim Hall Sr. aka the Alphabet. I always reminding you set goals, obtain goals, exceed goals, repeat, and you'll have a successful life. God bless you. Thank you.